You know, one of the things that uh, most people don't talk about, at least nobody really talked to me about it whenever I first started in missions, is the physical fitness side of things. You know, whenever there, there's a lot of uh, ministry positions that you can be in that don't really, you know, require any kind of physical fitness. And even in missions, I mean, for the most part, the kind of missions that you're going to do if you get involved don't really require too much physical fitness. You know, you don't have to be in really good shape to you know, do much. You can go to an orphanage. My video's looking a little dark. There we go. You can go to an orphanage. You can go to, you know, all kinds of places. You can go preach in churches and you don't have to be physically fit. And as a matter of fact, it's just my opinion that it's actually more difficult to stay physically fit when you're in ministry than in most other um, kind of jobs or whatever you want to call it, other um, walks of life and the reason why and again people don't really think about this but whenever you're in ministry people are always wanting to take you out to eat when I, here I'm, I'm recording this from Guatemala right now from my host home and since I've been here we've been eating four meals a day and that's because we have our breakfast here and then we go out and then someone takes us someone uh, brings us over for lunch for ministry or whatever we come back and then uh, we go to a church service or something like that we usually have some kind of dinner before church by, you know, the church people usually give us food and then we go to church and then we come back. And then after we've gone to church, the pastor has um, a dinner for us here at the house. So you end up eating a ton of food. And so it's really hard to stay in shape, uh, even though like it is different kind of food and all that kind of stuff. So it makes it difficult because you don't have any control over what you eat. It's Well, you can have a little bit, but it's very difficult. So... Um, the physical fitness side of this whole thing, I, I've been in, I've been in ministry for 17 years, you know, Panama, I've been all over the world now, and I have never really needed uh, much physical fitness. I mean, I'm not in terrible shape, I'm not in great shape by any means at all, but I never really had this great need for it until when I was in Nepal just a couple of weeks ago, and I suddenly realized, because we're in Nepal and we're in these mountains working with all these unreached people groups, when you're not working with unreached people groups, it's you know it's fairly easy to not need the the fitness part. But now that we're starting to really, God is really opening doors for us to do, to go to really rural places and really difficult places to reach. We climb these mountains in Nepal, and I'm about to show you guys a couple of videos that I'm not very proud of. They're very embarrassing, but I'm going to show you anyway, uh, j just for your own entertainment purposes and also to show you guys. Um, to kind of encourage you a little bit because they, I went to Nepal, we climbed these mountains and they actually invited me to come back in October and to go to the Himalayas, to go near Everest and it's a two day hike to get out there, really rough terrain and the, the last one that I did, the mountain up there, took me about an hour to get up. Some people took four hours so I, I, you know, I did better than a lot but I was still not first. I was behind a lot of people but it took me an hour. That's what I'm gonna show you. I didn't record much because I was suffering the entire time because <laughs> it was really steep in the elevation and I'm just not in that great of shape. So I'm gonna show you just a couple of clips I made of whenever I, the first ones are of me climbing up the mountain. I didn't get any any footage of whenever I got up there except for the church services, which I'll maybe put in another, another clip. And then the last video where you're gonna see me literally steaming was whenever we came down from the mountain, which was a lot harder than going up. And I made it down and you'll see, I mean, physically, I was so beat by it that, that I mean, it was cold and there was just, there's, just, I don't know anything about CGI, so there's no way for me to do this. You can see just the steam coming off of me and that really hit me. And actually, I was so sore for two days. Um, Curtis Gilbaugh, the guy who's traveling with me, can tell you how difficult it was, how painful it was for me the next two days. Uh, my legs were just, oh, it was awful. But it really hit me because if I'm going to go back in October, I have to get in really good shape or I'm not going to make it. And so I'm starting this kind of fitness journey. And so I wanted to share these videos with you. These are kind of my before videos of my climb. And then whenever we get to October and I go in the, to the Himalayas and I'm climbing these mountains, hopefully it'll be a little bit better. So hope you enjoy the videos. And if you like this, please subscribe. It is a big help for me. And uh, I just share this journey with me and put any comments down below. I'd love to hear from you and I will respond as soon as possible. Enjoy the clip. Oh. 
All right, so we're just walking, see what we can see. There's supposed to be a suspension bridge over here, which we're definitely gonna walk across. Looks like Curtis found it. Look at that. Bueno, Carmen, quería mostrarte que hoy aquí está nuestro campamento y vamos a caminar de aquí abajo hasta arriba, 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 hasta ahí. No sé si eso lo puedes ver, pero hay una casa blanca, ahí es donde estamos caminando. No sé cuánto tiempo voy a demorar y con mi mochila. Va a ser una aventura bien pesado. We are making our way up the mountains right now. Here in Nepal. See the river behind us. We're going up that mountain there. If you can see it. It's going to be quite the adventure for our next sessions tonight. We've got a crew behind us. It's an exciting day. Bueno, Carmi, llegamos a parte encima como una hora caminando. No sé, no, no veo bien el, el parte abajo porque estamos bien alto, pero llegamos. Lo hice. Eh, fue bueno que hice todo ese ejercicio porque fue duro, muy duro. Voy a all right, our last day of ministry here in Nepal is over, and we are about to head back down the mountain to catch the, the bus back to the apartment to get our flight tomorrow. It's going to take us all day to get back to the apartment stage. Just look how beautiful this is, way up here in the mountains. It's just incredible. The animals, the people, the culture is just awesome. I made it. I'm steaming like a lobster, but we made it down. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more adventures, please subscribe.